hello friends welcome back to my channel i hope everyone is doing fine so guys if today is your first time you are highly welcome and please don't forget to subscribe so we have two gist we want to analyze today have to so what one. you're looking for so the next gist now we are going to analyze is our guy clinton j so clinton j donated um I think that was 13 million something okay 13 or 14 million in his orphanage let's clap for him okay guys let's clap for him that's very nice and we say congratulations um that's a project where um back to school he was able to um, um furnish some schools some benches you know um brought a lot of books so he shared that to uh mostly primary school i think so mostly primary school and in in the southwest and we want to say thank you dear we appreciate your help what you're doing back home and may the good lord continue to bless you so the other saga that is happening that I want to analyze, I'll put um, some of the videos. Hey, friends, this is another video. Uh, they carry a man, see, the man that they carry is a gendarme or a police, one of them, a military man. You know, like I was saying that um, if care is not taken, this is going to be a bloody uh, 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 war in Cameroon. You know, so friends, this is another video. You can see. The man with brown is a civilian, and you can see the man with, I think that's black or dark blue, he, they are fighting. You know, this video was gotten from better things. So, guys, the, the, this is so shameful. This is so shameful. Someone that is supposed to be guiding the community is now fighting the community. See, they lifted him up. This is madness. These police people, they need to go for a training every six months. They need training, you know. You cannot come here and be fighting because you wear uniform. You think everybody has to bow down because you have a uniform called police. You know, you cannot even manage your own anger. You know, you cannot even manage your own anger. The people you are supposed to be guiding is now you are fighting them. The government needs to impose a training. Every six months, the people need to be going for training. Every six months. Every six months, just because you have a uniform, you think you can beat anybody because at the end of it, people will take these people to the, to the station and maltreat them and beat the hair out of them. I'm going to show you the other video that took place in the bus and you see this guy that um, fought with the police or that gendarmerie inside the bus. He's now at the station, sitting on the floor. So guys, and this is a video of the guy that um, fought the gendarme inside the bus, you know. This other video is also from Better Thing. So this is a video of the guy. Just imagine, this guy doesn't have money. Maybe he doesn't have money. I can't say much. He doesn't have money. You want to even judge somebody and put the person on the floor. What kind of maltreatment is this? What kind of maltreatment is this? Maybe because he doesn't have uh, money or he doesn't have connection. If it's, let me say, if it's one prime minister's son or prime minister's daughter, will you people treat him like this? We don't even know who is at fault. You know, they don't even allow the guy to tr uh, to say his own side. You know, this thing is getting out of hand. The government, whoever is in charge in this um, police or uh, in gendarmerie, these people have to be going for training, how to manage themselves, how to treat people outside. Not because you have uniform, you think you can molest everybody outside. You know, if care is not taken, this thing is going to be disaster. It's going to be disaster. They should free this guy. You can see it's the fighting. Civilian fighting. Let me say gendarme. They call them gendarme in Cameroon. Gendarme. So the police people or whatever you call in your country. We call them gendarmerie. So I want to analyze this. Because Cameroon is a lawless country, I will say this. If you have small power, you can put people inside cage. Inside cage. You understand? Okay, you are a gendarmerie. Why will you be fighting someone on the street? Now, it, it has become so rampant that video are circulating. Today, police fight, gendarme fight. Why? Because they have lost their respect. They have lost their respect. You cannot be a police officer. This happened in Cameroon. You cannot be a police officer 
and you'll be fighting on the road. You were supposed to protect uh, the citizen in that country, but you are fighting on the road. Just because you know that you can slap or you can abuse or you can push anyhow, and because you have a uniform, you know that when you go to the um, to the station, you will always have backup. There are two videos that, um, um, two recent fights that just happened that if you see, it's so messy. And now they have taken um, one of the guy in the station. And I believe that they are going to lock this guy. And they always, this gendarmerie, they always do this to poor people. They always do this to people who doesn't have connection. They always do this to, to, I don't know, to suppress us or I don't really understand because they have uniform. Because if Cameroon has a law, police, gendarmerie, military, you cannot be fighting on the road. Are you chasing a criminal? No. And there was this one inside the bus that I, I was like, what? What? Like seriously, what, what? You wear your uniform. You represent the whole nation. And you are fighting inside a bus. Maybe because uh, a passenger has spoken to you somehow, you don't like it. And you feel that because he has a, uni a uniform on you, you can beat anyhow. You know, sometimes we used to sit down, we that we are in abroad, we watch things to say, no, it can't be happening. Because now, you see, civilians, they are fighting. Because the gendarme police, they want to uh, 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 suppress them. And if you have connection, and these people, they know you have connection, they're going to drop that case. If you have a name, and they know you, they're going to drop that case. Look, the poor boy, they sat him down. And maybe before they even... Put it on the floor. They have beat him to hell. Just because he's poor. He doesn't have money to follow up the case. He's nobody. But forgetting that he's human like them. It's just because of the uniform. And I want to conclude this video by saying that. If this continue on in Cameroon. You will see where civilians will start removing guns machet knife to fight them because it will reach a time they have gotten enough this oppress 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 they have gotten enough if they cannot fight them break light they will fight them at night they will fight it will be a bloody war between civilians gendarmerie or the police they will start attacking these people this police or the gendarmerie in their station if care is not taken you cannot oppress someone from january to december and you think one day this person will not retaliate this is so sad in cameroon this is so sad. It's so, so sad. Gendarmerie police, you are there to protect your citizen. But you want to first of all kill them. You want to first of all kill them no matter what. No matter what. You cannot be fighting on the road. Even if you want to fight, remove your uniform. Let us know that you are not even in duty. So you stand them man to man. You stand. You stand them. You people should fight. Why are you taking it? Because you are... Why are you taking it to the station? Because you are a policeman or because you are a gendarmerie? We, remove your title. Remove your title. And you guys said to this people, remove your title. Be walking on the road with uniform and be oppressing people. So you people will say, Papa P is not doing good. Papa P is Papa P there when you people were fighting. Because if you want to clean that Cameroon, if you want to clean that Cameroon, especially the police and the gendarmerie they will be the first they are the front front picture they are the front picture to make that everywhere is secure not only secure respect for each other respect 
Like I said before, if they are not careful, you see what Amber is doing now? Nobody knew Amber would start like this and up to now we are still having Amber. People cannot travel uh, 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 safely. People cannot stay out late at night. So, the police should be very careful. Gendarmerie. I think these people, they need training. They need to, they need more training. How to treat people outside the civilians. How to treat other people. Not because you wear uniform, you think that you can mash on people. If care is not taken, it will be civilian versus gendarme. That's how it's going to be. And that will be so bloody. It will be so, so bloody. Because if the civilians cannot fight at night, they will fight. I mean, if they cannot fight during the day, they will fight at night and they will mask themselves and fight the gendarme. And if they cannot fight you people at the station, they will plan. If they don't get you, they will get your family. Or they will find you during the uh, at night, wherever you are going, and even kill you there. It's so bad. It's so poor for us, Kama. Look at our, our sweet country, our, our sweet country that even if you don't have money, you still enjoy your life. You still enjoy your life. Now can you talk? Papa P do this. Papa P do this. Papa P do this. Papa P. Papa P no day. When I do the fight, they fight. So now say Papa P. Anyway, as they say, this life no balance. But as we move on, may police they try to retake their step. May they try to rethink what did they do. You cannot be fighting on the road because you have a uniform. So guys, I will leave this here and don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, more just coming. Thank you. Bye.